Today, we are talking about packages for your wedding photography business. Keep waving. This is good stuff, man. Welcome back to the studio. Today, we're talking about packages for your wedding photography business. And uh, this is part of the 30 days of wedding photography videos. Uh, so if you're interested in, in learning more about wedding photography, please subscribe and also turn the bell on. And we're gonna be back again tomorrow. And then every Monday, film photography video, because those were scheduled before we began this, the, the course process. So look forward to the, the, Monday, the Monday random element. Uh, I have a few notes here specifically on packages and I'm going to talk a little bit about them and then I'm actually going to throw to a video with Lachlan who is the CEO of a company called Focal and we're going to go a little bit more into his mindset on packages. I feel like very much there is a surround sound effect that somebody taught something in 2007 in the wedding space and then somebody kind of taught a little bit more upon that and then somebody recycled that and someone recycled that and the same thing kind of seems to just keep happening uh, and I feel like to go to somebody outside of specifically that's that's grown up kind of within this wedding photography space and consumed all of the information in it I think that that is very very important and also somebody that relies on metrics and uh, actually has visibility on lots of different photographers websites as far as the analytics go so we will be talking to him within this video after I make a, a few little tips and suggestions for what's been working for me. And as you probably know, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I got a brand new website and my packages are actually in the website for the first time ever. And we're gonna talk about why that is in the, in the end of the video here with Lachlan, but it was the biggest change that I've probably made to my wedding photography website in quite some time. And those packages are already attracting attention from Google, um, which is not something that my pricing PDF that was always hidden could ever do. Um, so the SEO that comes with with having your packages. Um, again, we'll talk a little bit more about that in the video. Uh, it is something that's very, very important, I think, and something that is key to kind of the transparency of your business and to get people to trust you a little bit more, a little bit faster. If you're interested in getting a website design, um, essentially kind of what Focal does is they built out my entire website. We did a call, I talked to them, uh, they have copywriters, they'll write all your copy for you, and they basically build you a full turnkey website. Usually it costs $935 for this service, but in the month of January, if you sign up right now, um, that is waived. So put your name on the list, there's a link in the description below, and you will get a free setup of your website uh, if you're signing up for the year of the website. And not only are you going to get an amazing website that, like it sounds exactly as though you were to write it, which is really, really crazy. Uh, they fill in all the gaps and uh, they write your packages for you and a lot of different nice, nice to haves. And then they just give you your website and you're free to change anything you want. But in my experience, it was 95% of the way there. I made a few little tweaks, added a few more galleries, and um, I will be adding more to my portfolio kind of over this month. Um, but otherwise, it was remarkably close to a final design and one that I didn't have to do anything for. In the past, maybe I've spent 20, 30, 50 hours designing a website and it never really felt complete. They got there and they, they just made it happen within a couple of days. So sign up and uh, if there are no slots available right now, when there are slots, they will they'll let you know over email. And not only is it the front end website, the, the business, I guess the, the storefront of your, I guess we also have a physical storefront here, but I feel like the website is still the storefront for most people. And not only does it have that and that looks amazing and it's easy to navigate and it's fast to load and Google loves it and has all the SEO stuff built in there. All you gotta do is come up with titles for things that you think people are searching for, but it also comes with an incredible backend system as well, where it comes with a contract template and you can send emails that are both easy to send and also look amazing uh, to request payment. You can take credit card payments through your website and you can organize everything. And coming at the end of this month, uh, mini sessions are going to be unlocked. So if you're somebody that does mini sessions or you do multiple shoots on one day, uh, it will let you, it will just schedule all that and take all the payments and just Tell you, tell you who you gotta meet at what time. Very nice and easy. And then beyond that, so uh, I guess the reason that this all ties into packages is because the packages that you create are also available on the Focal Marketplace. So if somebody's searching for a wedding photographer in your local area, all of a sudden you're gonna pop up there and the earlier you get in on this, um, I think the better overall it's going to be as far as SEO goes and as far as discoverability goes. Um, Google just loves having older links and older links that are being updated and that people are interacting with and when they come through, they spend a little bit of time there. And the focal system has been very much designed to hold people there and to give them exactly what they want as well as full transparency. People know how much money it's gonna be. Google loves to know that basically you're giving people what they want so when they see that you actually have pricing information and it's not that somebody has to email you to get it, uh, Google is going to rank your site even higher. So yeah, if you wanna book more weddings essentially, um, head on over to the link in the description below. 
and uh, that $935 setup fee is waived if you sign up within the month of January. Wedding photography packages. There's a pretty good chance that one of your packages, you probably already know this, you know which one is gonna sell way more than everything else. It's probably the package that you kind of point people to. In emails and meetings and, and phone calls, I always tell people like that this is kind of the, the way that most people go. And to be able to guide them like that, just, I don't know, one, it makes that package convert a whole lot more. Two, it gives them much more linear and they have to make less decisions. They're like, this is what people normally do. I don't know, we haven't gotten married before. So if that's what people do, and that's probably what we'll do. So don't try to fight that at all. Just go with that and, and market towards that rather than trying to market to your, your most expensive package. The most expensive package, some people will get it. Some people will get the lowest package, but most people are gonna be somewhere in that middle. Um, three packages, four packages. I don't think there's really a difference. On Focal, they all look nice together and on mobile, they look amazing as well. And I think as somebody that does both photography and video coverage, I feel like I need four packages. If I was just doing photography only, Maybe I could do three. Um, hybrid shooters, I feel like you need that fourth package to add, basically, essentially kind of the way that I've structured it, it, it is two of that ideal package, but one with video and one with photography only. And the one with video sells a heck of a lot more than the one with photography only. I could probably remove the photography only one, but I don't know, people book it a lot still, so I'm happy to leave it. And quite honestly, shooting, if you're doing like a triple wedding weekend, you're doing both photo and video at all three of those weddings, it's stressful. So I'm happy when somebody books that photography only package and they're at the Saturday of a Friday, Saturday, Sunday wedding. Next package tip is to be clear on what you're offering. Um, don't kind of bait people in, don't really give them the full information. Give them what they need to know. Don't hide anything, don't hide your pricing, don't hit them at the end of the experience with a $4,000 bill in order to actually get any downloadable files or something silly. Um, no tricks, keep everything transparent and honest and your couples are gonna be much happier to refer you to their friends who are probably also your ideal clients if you're working with your ideal, we talked about that yesterday. Next point is to make your packages a self-contained turnkey solution when possible. Um, I don't love the idea of doing a print credit with a bunch of different variables and a bunch of micro decisions that people have to make. Yes, maybe you'll make a little bit more money, but there's a pretty good chance that you're going to just confuse people into just not booking with you um, from time to time. And I guess maybe this also goes to specifically my ideal client. My ideal client is, uh, we'll talk about this in the, in the video with Lachlan later in this, they are somebody that comes in and they kind of know what they want exactly. They're not coming in to be like, show me what you have to offer. What is your wedding photography style? Let me know, please. Um, they're not asking unnecessary questions. They kind of know what they want. They see what they like and they, they know. So if you can make that a very easy self-contained solution, um, you are at least in my case, I'm going to attract more of my ideal couples. I feel like you also kind of set the precedent for communication very early on that you don't need to be managed, that there's not a lot of communication that has to happen. You book your date and then if there's an engagement shoot, we schedule that. And then if like maybe a month before the wedding, we talk again. I feel like when you begin an email relationship with 25 back and forths because your packages are so difficult to customize, um, that sets you up for another 150 emails over the lifetime of that client. So make everything easy, efficient, transparent, and you're gonna have a much better time that's, that's that point. My next point is that people have already tested packages. There's probably wedding photographers that are booking stuff out in your local area that are already being successful with this. So see what is already working and iterate on that. Don't just watch a YouTube video about, I don't know, some photographer in LA that's starting at $10,000 and be like, I'm gonna bring everything that they're doing back over here to an hour outside of Toronto, Canada, where I live, and I'm gonna implement it. I'm gonna start at $10,000 and I'm gonna set the market there. The market's just not gonna agree with that. If that's not what people are used to, uh, you're gonna find a lot of resistance and it's going to be a struggle, honestly, to, to book anything. So be aware of what the market currently is and learn to play within that. There are things you can do in order to make a little bit more money. Um, over time, kind of the way that I've, I guess, gone about it is that rather than making my packages more expensive, I actually just take things out of it. So my, I guess the, the pricing has roughly kind of stayed the same for a little while now, but now this package no longer includes an engagement session and this package no longer includes an album like it did a few years ago. And this package maybe includes a shorter highlight film. And this package up here now only includes one videographer, whereas it used to include two videographers. So there are more ways to make money within something that kind of the structure works and you don't have to price out of your local market because that is a bit of a scary thing. I feel like when you, you hit a certain point, uh, it's scary in the beginning to, to step up and then you will eventually get to a point where you do start to feel a little bit of resistance. Um, I don't know what the official metrics are, but if you're doing like 10 meetings and eight couples book, I feel like that's pretty good. If you're doing 10 meetings 
and three couples book, I feel like that's pretty bad. If you're doing 10 meetings and 10 couples book, that might seem good, but that probably means you're underpriced and that people are booking you because you're such an incredible deal, which if you wanna work a lot, maybe that's for you. I would say kind of that seven, eight out of 10 range is probably where you wanna be. Another point that I touched on briefly there was to refine what you actually want to be doing. For me, I really didn't enjoy making albums. I discovered that all of them came back in November. And while I did have a nice system to get a few extra dollars in revenue from that by kind of making maybe an album that's a little bit too big and getting them to kind of cut back a few pages or just be like, that's fine, print it. Um, I did make more money from that, but the stress that came in November, because I just really, um, even if I messaged my couples and I was like, you gotta send me your selects and it's August. Everyone gets to you in November when they realize that Christmas is coming and they wanna have that wedding album for Christmas. And that's kind of what I discovered with the market here and it was quite honestly stressful. It added things that I didn't want as part of my business. I wanted my Novembers. My November, if you don't know me, it used to be this way. Every November, we go to Japan. Japan's amazing, go to Japan. And we take off from November until uh, usually April, and that's kind of the, the time that I have blocked out to do um, content with Nikon or travel content or whatever it might be, uh, or just more commercial work indoors over the winter. And I kind of block that time off from weddings. And for those albums to essentially become a full-time job, you could outsource it, I guess. You could also maybe think about that. But for them to become essentially a full-time job, for all of November when I want to be doing other stuff. Not the most ideal. I dealt with it for a number of years. I probably did it for like 10 years um, before I realized that it's just not what I wanted to be doing. And I guess that's maybe another thing to mention that over the course of your business, that there is no right or wrong way to run a business. Just find what works for you and to iterate and to make changes now if something bothers you because what you're booking now is going to be affecting you a year or two from now um, just because weddings, when you book them, they're in the future usually. Next up, I would say to tell your couples, and this is even easier with Focal now that you actually have a package page and you can talk to that specific human being about kind of who this is for. Tell your potential couples exactly who the package is for. Um, also identify pain points and kind of get on the same page as them. Uh, I feel like for at least myself, when I'm talking to my couples, that it's very easy to kind of position myself as a photographer that enjoys the efficiency of the day, that they shouldn't be getting married to have a photo shoot, that they should be getting married because they want to get married, and I'm there to just capture beautiful images of the day, and I don't really need to to take over the day in order to get those beautiful images. Just need a few minutes here and there. I feel like by talking about the things that you don't like about weddings as well as the things that you do like, whenever you do hit your ideal couple and they're reading that, you create a very strong connection and they're very, very likely to book you. Um, so I'm gonna run through my packages quickly here since they're all on the internet now and uh, we're gonna talk about those. So coming on over here to my website, as you can see, um, very much the key that there is a drop down. You can go see other stuff, but pricing is number one. That's obviously the direction that I'm pushing people towards to come over here to these packages. Um, these will be flipped. We're doing a thing in Focal right now where um, you'll be able to invert these so the most expensive one can be first, which I do recommend doing. And everything else just looks really nice. So my most, I would say the most usual package is this one here, um, which is an eight hour wedding photography day with a highlight film and engagement session. I would say half of my couples are now taking out the engagement sessions, so maybe something that, that I've noticed over time. And as you can see up here, before you actually get to the specific kind of line items, you're able to tell a little bit of a story and to at least pre-qualify people and make sure like, hey, this is the package for you if. And as we'll talk about in the video, it is important to get people to not just be comparing like, oh, this, this photographer's offering eight hours and this photographer's offering eight hours. Because when couples start comparing on numbers and metrics, all of a sudden your actual, your art and your, your photography skills kind of don't really carry the weight that they should in comparisons and you may lose out on some bookings. So what's included in this, eight hours of photography by myself in a second, a two to four minute highlight film engagement session, and uh, that's kind of a rough number of images. I would say I'm always usually within that ballpark. And final delivery of images, very easy. Some other bonus things down here at the bottom, cancellation policies and uh, other things. Again, Focal wrote all this for me. So I did. I had a phone call with them and we, we talked through and they went out and they built this. So um, if you read the words, they sound like me, but I didn't write them. To go to the package, I guess we're doing this slightly out of order. So we started with the, the one that's the, the most important to my business, the one that happens the most often. The other one that's been happening at least this past year and I guess the past two years, uh, weddings are a little bit shorter overall, 
So this wedding photography six hour package, I find myself booking fairly often now. When it comes to the days, some of them aren't even six hour days anymore. Um, it's more like a four to five hour day. So I may even bring this package down a little bit. And what you're getting, six hours of photography, 300 to 400 images and final delivery of images. Uh, I will be adding, by the time you're looking at this, I will have more of a description on who exactly this package is for. And I'll have some nice other pretty words in there copied roughly from the other packages. Coming down to this eight hour, photography package. Um, I would say the highlight film package, most popular for sure. This one second to that. And when you come down here, it is eight hours of photography coverage. You can just read that in the, the top as well. Um, I will be changing up the uh, titles here. We're doing that again as an edit in Focal, uh, where I'll be doing, I think, package names. And then underneath, I'm going to put kind of a few details. I feel like that's a little bit better overall. But again, we're going to listen to the stats. And if that doesn't end up being better, we're going to switch it back to this. Down here, this is the big package. This is the one that actually uh, last year or maybe two years ago would have come with two video human beings. And we discovered that with the, I guess, technology as good as it is now that we don't necessarily need two video people, um, dedicated video people that usually the way that we kind of operate is that myself will be taking a few video clips or here and there. My second can also do that. So in the instance that we can't be in one spot at the same time for maybe getting ready photos, my second photographer can easily cover both photo and video get, getting ready location, the second getting ready location, whereas myself and the dedicated cinematographer can do kind of both of those. Uh, usually if it's a male-female wedding, we're typically at the girls, and my second is at the guys. And it's very easy to cover in that way. The main upgrade from this video over the other video is you're actually getting audio from the day in the highlight film. Uh, you're also getting a single video. I kind of specify their single video angle of ceremony and speeches because I don't want them to, to think that it's a full like 10 camera shoot on their ceremony. I feel like for me, this is also a selling thing that they know that I'm not gonna have the big jib in the middle of the dance floor or like a bunch of cameras on steady cams and people all running around. My couples, my ideal couples specifically, they would prefer a smaller team there, whatever the minimum team is possible in order to capture the day. Um, so I kind of specify that. And again, it'll connect really well with my ideal couple and say they're a non-ideal couple and they do want the entire ceremony covered like you would see in a Hollywood film. Uh, that is just not, not the couple for me and they can, they can find a video team because that's not what I do. And that is kind of all. You will notice that I have special pricing if you are getting married at a venue that I'm a preferred vendor at. The reasoning for that is simply because it is so easy for me to go into these venues. Um, I don't need to do any sort of pre-consult. I don't need to, to learn anything that I know how those days flow and that they're very easy. The venues that I'm preferred at are also typically venues that do everything all in house. So that eight hour day will actually cover everything from getting ready all the way to maybe five, 10 songs after first dances. And that's kind of the window that I like to get. So um, that's why my packages are kind of all that eight hour window because specifically around here, that's what I found kind of works the best. And also at my preferred venues, which I do um, not only um, do maybe they prefer that I'm there, I also prefer to be shooting there as well. Um, I know that this might be a bit of a different thing that if you are somebody that really thrives on going to different places and different venues and never shooting the same spot two times, that might not be the ideal for you, but I really enjoy going to places that I'm familiar with and knowing essentially kind of all of my options based on any weather. And I'm always able to create something that's a little bit different. My couples are always different. It's always their only wedding day. And at the end of the wedding day, I don't need to feel 100% creatively satisfied every single wedding day. Um, that I'm happy to go there and do a great job for my couple and to make them as happy as they could possibly be and to also not take up too much of their day in order to make that happen. So as I mentioned uh, now a number of minutes ago, we're gonna talk to Lachlan, who is the Focal CEO. And um, essentially kind of what I wanted to achieve with this was the fact that um, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, we very much hear the same things over and over and over again. And I do believe that it is important to look outside of specifically just wedding photographers and maybe talk to somebody that's actually done some metrics and has more visibility on what's working for different photographers. So let's uh, head on over and talk to Lachlan. With my new website, I was um, nicely pushed or a little tiny kick uh, to go from the old dinosaur <laughs> way of having this PDF that I send out to everyone to actually listing packages um, just to be, I guess, more transparent. I feel like as the internet grows, things need to be more transparent. And I feel like it's a very easy way to build trust um, with people coming to your website for the first time. They don't know me, they can learn a little bit about me. And when it seems like I have nothing to hide, that there's gonna be no hidden backend sale in there that's gonna cost them another $4,000 or something for me to shoot their wedding, 
um, I feel like people are going to be pretty happy. So do you want to walk us through kind of your perspective on pricing and packages? I know it's a huge question, um, <laughs> but I, I would love to hear it specifically from you because you're outside of, I guess, like in the photography industry, I feel like there's a surround sound effect that somebody taught something in 2007 and the same stuff just keeps getting iterated upon and it becomes like what the truth is for um, what you need to do to be a wedding photographer. And then what I appreciated was you coming at it from a different perspective that you haven't been in the industry for 15 years that you've actually done proper research and you have metrics and whatnot on kind of what converts and what sells. And, <laughs> and you get to see that in real time too, whenever you, when you sell packages for photographers. Yeah. I mean, I guess a lot of it stems from just like my own personal background and also why I even started Focal in the first place, which was just, I was frustrated trying to book a photographer for me and my partner. And like, we we're in Banff and I went on Google and I was like, Banff couples photographers. And I was so excited. And I just went down this like three hour rabbit hole of like looking at all these photographers' websites, falling in love with their work. And it became so frustrating trying to send people emails and, and waiting for them to get back to me. And I just ended up not doing it. Um, and that was really sad and, and something that I sort of set out to change. I think a lot of photographers struggle with the way that they present you know, their value. And I guess the package is really, the way I see it is a lot of photographers explain what they have to offer and explain their value in like three bullet points, the number of hours, the number of photos and the price. And from my background, what I've learned is that, you know, whatever information you give to, to the customer, that's pretty much all they have to anchor their purchasing decision on. I'll use this example way back. I, I used to do RV sales. And I used to do this like really silly thing where like I'd be taking through taking some customers through um, a certain brand of of trailers that we sold, and I'd do this really silly thing where I'd like like smack the roof really hard. I'd like almost like punch the roof actually, and they would like be jolted and they'd be like, "What are you doing?" Um, and I would explain to them like the reason I'm doing that is because I'm showing you that these particular this particular brand of trailers are, are built a lot sturdier than than others and that's why they're a little bit more expensive right like they have three plywood and we're in alberta and if snow lands on the roof it's not going to collapse um and that's why this one's ten thousand dollars more than the one down the road and just them knowing that like you'd have customers go down the road look at other rvs and they would go and like push on the roofs and they would be like <laughs> they'd come back to me and they'd be like lachlan we went down the road and like yeah those those roofs are squishy like i see it now like i see the value and i think that's really like it's a silly example, but it really translates to photography as well. If you don't talk about the way you think about lighting, the way you can handle certain situations, your experience, the way you can make a couple comfortable, the customer doesn't anchor their purchasing decision on that. And it becomes like, how are you different than like that other photographer that's has an eight hour package and it's like a thousand dollars cheaper, right? You have to figure out ways to convey what makes you special and what makes you different. And I think the packages do a really good job of adding so much more context to what you're offering, adding so much more that the customer can understand the story and the value of what you provide. As a website thing as well, packages are obviously quite good to have. I feel like probably one of the, the biggest search terms, I should actually know this, but people are probably searching online for wedding photography pricing and they're probably looking for specifically my pricing. They might be typing totally. in Taylor Jackson wedding photography pricing. And that might not lead them to kind of what they're officially after. And it might end up being like, oh, I guess we will have to email him. And um, maybe uh, do you want to talk a little bit about maybe how packages are just great for just general SEO? This is a photographer that uses Focal. And so, yeah, I guess when we talk about packages, what what's really interesting is the way that, you know, they're each each package is its own separate page. And it's so specific to like, what somebody would be looking for. So, I mean, you might have an outdoor family session. So a lot of people like when they're searching for family sessions, they might search for a studio family session or outdoor family session. Um, and the way that the packages, their SEO is set up is they, you know, appear like listings here with the reviews. One really cool example from this photographer, Naomi, is she actually has this like, she does these like fantasy sessions with kids. <laughs> yeah. And, um, um, they're so cool. She does, um, she does like wizards and witches, or she has like a, I think she has like a superhero package as well. And what was so cool, actually, the other day, she actually booked a wedding off of one of these. They found one of her fantasy sessions, 
and the couple wanted like a Lord of the Rings photo shoot <laughs> in front of a castle, and uh, and they ended up doing it based on based on finding one of these packages. But yeah, something that's really interesting here is just how each package is its own separate page, and for SEO, that's just amazing. Um, if you're trying to cram like all your wedding packages and your newborn packages and all your pricing on one page from Google's perspective, it's like, what is this page about? Is it about weddings? Is it about newborns? Is it about <laughs> families? And so it's with, you know, even, even like just weddings and elopements are separate, right? So you could have a separate elopement package versus a wedding package. So, yeah. And I feel like if you're in a larger city, this is even more beneficial because, um, say I lived in Toronto, people are searching for more specific things, especially in Toronto. And if you can target those, you can also, I guess, target based on like your ideal clients too, that if you enjoy doing those outdoor sessions, like natural light outdoor sessions, you can, you can make packages kind of based around that and start to rank for that. And when people are searching for it, you're now all of a sudden, you didn't really have to go out and uh, do anything different. You just get to market who you are and what you want to do. And um, the traffic kind of comes to you. Yeah, definitely. Like, like that, that Christmas um, example that we were talking about in our last video too is a really great example. That photographer, she didn't make that package and plan to rank third. She just made that package one day. Um, I think so she could send it to you know her own customers because she was running minis that year and she was promoting it just on her Facebook page. And then suddenly it's like position three on Google and she's like slammed. So yeah, it's just one of those things where you don't have to overly think about it. It's just a really great, yeah, turnkey solution. All that SEO stuff is is taken care of for you. Obviously, like <laughs> if you have a PDF, like um, that's hidden um, from Google, and even if you have it like on a separate hidden page or something, like Google can't index a PDF, which means it can't read the the copy and the content off of it. So it really has no idea what that's about which means it'll never rank. And so you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot a little bit because you're writing this really rich content on a document and then not having that as a, as a way for people to find you, I guess. Yeah. And realistically, like judging from my, um, my analytics, like that is the most important or most visited page, um, even beyond my portfolio, the, the way people, when they come onto my website or at least my past <laughs> website, I had brand new website, uh, check out focal link in the description below. Um, my past website, it's pretty much people would show up to the landing page and they would try to find out how much money I was before even going to the portfolio or learning an about page. So You're rather right, than yeah. trying to, to force people to be like, you must look at my portfolio first, it's just not what people are going to do. So you might as well lean into what people actually want and give them the information through there to get. Um, you're going to end up with happier couples and people that are going to book way faster than uh, if you had everything hidden. Yeah, customers immediately, probably most of the time, just go straight to the pricing page and they're bypassing all that really great value about you that's hidden in your about section and in your blogs. And so what the packages can do for you is they can add so much context. So instead of the customer just going to your pricing and seeing, oh, it's this amount of money, they're seeing, oh, it's this amount of money and why? And, um, and this is the story and the experience that this photographer is providing rather than just a bunch of bullet points. And I think that's an incredible tool um, to anchor somebody in in understanding what it is that you offer beyond just the number of hours and the number of photos, right? So the keys really are to find things that people can anchor themselves on that aren't just the number of hours in a package uh, and something that's a little bit more specific to you and your art and uh, your creativity. That is all for today. Thank you to Lachlan for joining me. Uh, if you are interested in getting your focal website, there's a link in the description below. $935 USD saved if you, you sign up during the month of January. And that website comes with one, it looks amazing. It's very easy to use. It's very fast. It checks all the boxes of the website video we did a couple of days ago. And beyond that, it comes with a backend that has a default contract for you to use if you want. It'll send emails to a couple to request payments. They can pay by credit card if they want. And it all just happens in one spot. Plus lots to come over the next year, especially mini sessions coming up at the end of this month. So if you are running a day where you're doing those Valentine's Day sessions or you're doing Christmas minis out out there in a tree farm. They're able to market one link. People can come in, they can book, they can pay, and everything is organized and contracts go and everything all, all in one spot where it's very, very easy to manage. And then you just gotta show up on the day and, and take the pictures. And then come in soon, or at least over this year, there'll be galleries on Focal as well. So you're able to upload your galleries to share with your couples. And everything really, really happens in one spot. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Turn the bell on if you want. See you then.